Well, in the face of growing concerns of abortion and baby dumping in the country, Tamrock Care Foundation says there is no need for mothers who are unable to sustain themselves and their babies to despair and instead approach the foundation for assistance. The foundation has been assisting pregnant women with basic items from the time the child is born until he or she is two years and the mother is able to take care of the child. Recently, the foundation members took in a heavily pregnant 19-year-old girl who had found comfort in begging for money and food items just to feed herself and her unborn child in Vintuk City Centre. This is her story. She is about to give birth in two weeks' time and does not know whether she will receive the happy mother-child message from the father of her child. 19-year-old Vehonga Njodo was left by her boyfriend as soon as she broke the news that she was expecting his child. He doesn't even support me. I mean, yeah, when I got pregnant, I told him that I'm pregnant and he said yes. So from there I went to her papa's. When I came back, we stayed together for almost three, for three, two, two to three months. And from there he decided to disappear. She dropped out of school while in grade nine, does not have brothers or sisters, and has a one-year-old child from a different father, and he too does not support his daughter. While she is supposed to be resting at this stage of full pregnancy, Njoda's daily routine involves going to the city centre and back for food and any other item that could help her and the family through the day. She gets between 30, 70 and 100 dollars, but still that is not enough to sustain the family. She attempted suicide and thought of abortion as she sees no future for herself and her kids. Sometimes there's a time I think that I don't have a future again. Vehonga is an orphan and lives with her grandmother and uncle, both of whom are pensioners. Teen Amro Care Foundation is an NGO that was established by a group of young people to look into the plight of young mothers who cannot sustain themselves and their babies. One of the founding members, Lulu Ampolo, found Vehonga in a precarious situation that could lead and contribute to abortion and baby dumping in the country. While I was walking along Post Street Mall, I met Vehonga and she asked me to give her $2 for food. I took her to pick and pay, I bought her lunch, then I brought her back home. I sat her down, then I spoke to her, and she explained to me her daily life struggle. And that's when I decided that she qualified for the foundation's care. The foundation will assist Vehonga when she gives birth with basic necessities for both the newborn and the toddler. Teen Amro Care Foundation is now also taking in unwanted babies with the help of Gender Youth Training Center, a sure sign to mothers like Vehonga that there is hope and solutions out there and there is no need to dump or abort a baby. Well, a touch